Back in May 2017, website Kotaku reported that BioWare Montreal had been scaled down following Mass Effect Andromeda's underwhelming launch. More specifically, they cited that throughout April 2017, a number of BioWare Montreal employees were transferred to the EA Motive studio, also based in Montreal. EA Motive being the studio that's currently helping out with DICE's Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now at the time, these were all rumors, but EA has officially confirmed recently that much of what Kotaku reported is true. During EA's Q1 2018 earnings call a few days ago, CFO Blake Jorgensen briefly talked about the fate of Bioware Montreal with the following statement. We are building out a new studio in Montreal, as we have told everyone, and we have hired over 100 people into that studio that are brand new to EA. This is to build the new IP around Jade Raymond's team that she's been building. I was in that studio last month, and it's a wonderful new addition to our team. And we brought our Bioware Montreal team into that same facility, so they now all sit in one new studio together. Following the earnings call, website techraptor.net reached out to EA to further elaborate and confirm the statement, and this is the response that they got. The teams in EA Worldwide Studios are packed with talent, and more than ever, we are driving collaboration between studios on key projects. With multiple major projects in development in Montreal, we are merging Bioware Montreal with Motive Studios. This is an ongoing process, but there are many exciting roles and opportunities for everyone on the team. So yeah, for anyone who still has doubts about Kotaku's report on Bioware Montreal's fate and the Mass Effect series being put on hold, that's as good a confirmation that you're gonna get. Now the question becomes, what are they working on now? Well, as website Kotaku reported, EA Motive, which was founded and is being headed by Assassin's Creed producer Jade Raymond, is helping out EA DICE and Criterion Games with the development of Star Wars Battlefront 2. But alongside that, Motive is also helping out with a brand new Star Wars game being made by Visceral Games with Amy Hennig as its creative director. For those who don't know who Amy Hennig is, she directed the first three Uncharted games, so this is definitely a Star Wars game to get excited about. My bet is that this will be an expansive, single-player, action-adventure Star Wars experience, which under Amy's direction could potentially turn out damn great. In fact, I believe Nolan North briefly talked about this game at some point, stating that, quote, Amy has gone to EA and is going to reboot a brand new Star Wars franchise in the style of Uncharted, and I happen to know a lot about it, and it's going to be awesome. It's also worth mentioning that the main studio developing the game, Visceral Games, is behind the Dead Space series, which I think bodes well for the game's third-person gameplay mechanics, as well as its atmosphere. So yeah, Battlefront 2 aside, this brand new Star Wars game is what ex-Bioware Montreal members will mainly be contributing to. Now before you freak out and say that this game's gonna suck because Bioware Montreal is now involved or something like that, do keep in mind that much of Andromeda's woes can be attributed to bad leadership, miscommunication, and mismanagement, particularly from the higher-ups. Ideas came together late, office politics got in the way, and it all culminated in most of Andromeda being developed and rushed during the last 18 months. Not ideal conditions for talent to flourish. So hopefully their new positions at EA Motive will prove to be a much more fruitful and productive enterprise, and I really hope that their talents are put to good use. I don't know, I'm kind of optimistic about this one, especially with the ideas and people involved. An Uncharted-style Star Wars game being directed by the creative director of the first three Uncharted games with visceral games at her back? Sounds like a potential match made in heaven. But yeah, there you go, some official news on what happened with Bioware Montreal. I hope you found this video useful, and if you enjoy my content, I hope you'll consider supporting me on Patreon to help our community remain independent from corporate interference. And to be further updated on all things Bioware, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.